This is Stuart Fleming. In today's video, we're going to be working with subversion again. And we're going to be working with um, two different applications. And we'll have the same application, but on two different desktops, or so we're going to pretend. I'm going to have two versions of JDeveloper open. And um, they both have copies of the same application checked out. This one's going to be JDeveloper A, person A. And over here, we have person B working on the application. So <clears throat> they're both going to be making changes to uh, the application. And we'll see how it affects the application. Now, first of all, um, Person A is going to be working on the main web page. We're going to, well, let's just add it here, right up at the top. We're... Person B is going to be adding a new task flow. And person A is going to be adding some buttons to the application. And we'll just call this person A. OK, save. <clears throat> and person B is going to add a JSSF page. Come on. There we go. Blank page. OK. Let's just save that. And outgoing. Actually, we're going to have some candidates on person B because they have added these two things here, or three things here. So I'll press, press that. And now they should be in the outgoing. OK. If we go over to person A, OK, I'm, I'm going to, because I have basically the same application open on the same copy of uh, the same uh, applicant file, uh, it thinks that uh, the windows are different. So just ignore that kind of thing. We're going to have um, the main page show here. OK, haven't um, committed these yet. OK, but um, I am now. I'm going to commit the main. Add And uh, let's go over to person B and click on the incoming. And so you can see now that we have the incoming. Now I'm going to, I want to close this just, um, just so that I don't have any conflicts. And we'll, we'll close all of these actually. I will import it. And now let's take a look at the main. Come on. It's a little slow because I have the application. So now I have this, OK? Now I can add these over here, commit them. And you can see now <laughs> that I have um, some incoming here. You have to click on it, OK, and look at all the things that are changed here. There's actually some new directories that were changed because I added some new stuff. So we will update that. Let's just make sure that there's nothing there, nothing over here, and there's nothing there. Now, if we now look here, you have the jobs JSSF page, OK? <clears throat> Let's um, put button B down here. I guess we're going to need to surround with because that's taken the whole space. And I'll put a, where is it? Here we go. There. Now, considering that this is the same file, I haven't named it button B. <clears throat> Let's go over 
and um, just <clears throat> make sure that there's nothing over here. Okay, now let's go over again. Uh, sorry, this is thinking that we're in the same application. Um, that has just to do with the windows changing. It's difficult when you have two versions of JDeveloper. Now we're going to have the main come up. Okay. And look, all of a sudden we have that. Now I am going to put that button here. Now I'm thinking that, um, let's take a quick look here at the source. I want to take a look and see they are in the same group layout. Okay, so let's see if that causes a conflict. When we um, do that, the outgoing, we're going to upload that into Subversion. I think that was a group layout. And now over in person B, there we go and update it so there you go you can add things and they automatically auto magically appear through subversion subversion and it's an amazing tool to be able to work on the same application at the same time now you do have things like um where uh let's put uh, i don't want to cause a conflict here because I have another video where I actually work on a conflict but um, some of the major files that get updated all the time are the main page def for example and uh, the data bindings so let's um, let's do that in another video just so this one's a good one so far I don't want to screw it up okay have a good day I hope that was helpful